Hi guys, welcome to your academy DNA. So today let's focus on the multi-layer switching. How we can configure the SVI switch virtual interface on a switch. Consider we do not have a router to route the traffic between the VLANs. Basically, what is the router definition? Route a route router routes a packet of data from no one network to another network. We do not have a router. We have a only switch and which is our L3 switch. Switch which come up with the two flavor. One is a L2 and L3. When we say L3 switch means it does support routing as well along with the switching. But at that time, how we can configure the IP address for the VLAN? On the router, we saw we can configure the IP address on router that interface directly on the router interface. But here, the interface connected to the switch switches is, is a trunk mode. So where we will configure the IP address? Is it here on 23 or is it here on slash 24? No, we will not configure any IP address, layer 3 IP address on any physical interface. So what we will do here? We will configure IP address on the VLAN. So for that, we will create new interface called as a interface VLAN and VLAN ID. So this interface we call it as a SVI switch virtual interface. Correct. Now, if you want to configure IP address directly on the interface, definitely you can configure on a layer 3 switch. But by default, all the multi-layer switch port configure as a switch port. So you have to first convert port into the routing port. Consider I would like to configure the IP address on the gigabyte zero slash one. So what I will do here, first I will change this port mode from switching to routing. So how I will configure or I can say layer two to layer three. So the command is go to the interface and command is a no switch port. No switch port means now this gigabyte zero slash one is no longer a L two port it will be now it is now l3 port okay so there are two options to it you can directly configure the ip address on the interface or you can create a svi why we are not configuring directly ip address on this interface because this interface connected to the another switch and we are passing two vlan one is a vlan 5 and one is a vlan 6 two vlan we are passing right so that is the reason we will configure here interface uh, or I can say SVI. So how does it work? Basically, how does it work? So let me explain you in a better way. Yeah. So there are four VLANs I can see here. So what we will do here first, we will create a layer two VLANs on core switch. Again, here we will create a layer 2 VLAN on switch 1 and on the switch 2 also we will clear, uh, create layer 2 VLAN. Right? Now, once we will create the VLAN, we will create SVI, switch virtual interface or I can say, uh, I would like to say VLAN interface on multi-layer switch only so this switch and this switch is act as a only layer two switches so here on the multi-layer switch we will have the interface vlan 5 then we will configure the ip address ip address will be the 10.1.5.1 we will configure another vlan interface VLAN 6 IP address 10.1.6.1. Again, we will configure one more VLAN interface, which is interface VLAN 7 IP address 10.1.7.1. And last interface VLAN 8 and IP address 10.1.8.1. So basically, this VLAN, this is the virtual interface, I can say. Interface VLAN is a nothing but a virtual interface. It is not bind with the any physical interface. But, 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 whenever you create 
any svi uh, svi for any villain you must have at least one interface to be a part of that particular villain now consider interface villain for you have a ipad as 10.1.5 so on this switch on the core switch you must have a, at least one port right is in the villain for you it is split to where is the access or trunk clear now as per the design f a 0 slash 23 is my trunk port where i am passing vlan 5 and vlan 6 on port number 0 slash 24 i am passing vlan 8 and vlan 7 so as soon as i configure f a 0 slash 23 port as a trunk port and i will pass vlan 6 and 7 automatically interface vlan 5 and vlan 6 will get activated once this interface will go down physically down what will happen your interface vlan 5 also will go down 5 and 6 will also go down that is an i told you right at least one minimum interface should be active in the particular vlan clear now the same way on a switch uh, access layer switch where port number 23 uh, is the trunk why because a core switch connected to the access switch is also trunk so it should be the trunk trunk vlan 5 6 similar way we will configure uh, interface 0 slash 23 right as a trunk port for vlan 7 and 8 okay now we got it uh, 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 now we uh, have an idea about the uh, how uh, these uh, three uh, four vlan will communicate each other via core switch and on the core switch we have configured the svi but what about this connectivity between the router and doer switch so what uh, uh, what i told you simply what we will uh, uh, do here one way number one i will create one more vlan maybe vlan 10 right for router to switch communication you got the communication vlan or simply i will go and configure the ip address on interface physical interface so for that i have to change the switch port from layer 2 to layer 3 l3 perfect okay let's go and start the lab yeah so here is our lab we have a core switch we have a router we have a switches so let's go and create a vlan 5 and uh, uh 6 uh, 5 6 7 8 over here so 5 6 let's add two more vlan vlan 6 uh, no, not 6 sorry my bad 7 10.1.7.0 slash 24 and we have one more vlan called the vlan 8 10.1.8.0 slash 24 perfect so we have a 7 and 8 vlan on switch 2 and 5 and 6 vlan on a access switch 1 but svi we will configure on the core switch so let's go and first start from the access layer from the access layer the interface connected uh, the, between the switch 1 and course is the fa0 slash 1 to fa0 slash 1 the interface connected between the switch 2 and the course switch 1 fa0 slash 2 to fa0 slash 2 okay let's go and configure the vlan 5 and 6 on a switch 1 go to the cli enter enable configuration terminal vlan 5 name vlan 5 exit then configure vlan 6 name vlan 6 perfect so now go ahead and configure the trunk port so f a 0 slash 1 will be our trunk port and we will pass 5 and 6 vlan over our trunk port interface f a 0 slash 1 first no shutdown switch port mode trunk first you have to configure switch port trunk and switch port allow switch port trunk allow vlan switch port trunk allowed vlan 5 and 6 clear w r mem or copy run start show vlan perfect i can see vlan 5 and 6 on switch 1 then if you want to see the uh, trunk port right so show interface trunk you can see fa0 slash 1 we have configured as a 
ट्रंक पोर्ट एंड ट्रंक ट्रंकिंग इन कैप्सुलेशन डॉट वन क्यू आई एस एल इज अस्को प्रोपरेटरी एंड डॉट वन क्यू इज अ ओपन स्टैंडर्ड ऑर कैन से आई ट्रिपल ई क्लियर परफेक्ट सो लेट्स गो एंड कॉन्फिगर द वील एंड सेवन एंड एट ऑन यूर एक्सेस विच टू सेम कमांड इनेबल कॉन्फिगरेशन टर्मिनल कॉन्फिगरेशन टर्मिनल वील एंड सेवन नेम वील एंड सेवन एक्जिट देन वील एंड एट नेम वील एंड एट एक्जिट नाउ कॉन्फिगर दिस एफ एज रूल स्लैश टू एज अ ट्रंक पोर्ट विच इज कंटेड टू द कोर्स विच इंटरफेस एफ ए जीरो स्लैश टू स्विच पोर्ड मोड ट्रंक स्विच पोर्ड ट्रंक अलाउ व्हील एंड ट्रंक अलाउड व्हील एंड सेवन एंड एट परफेक्ट लेट्स गो एंड चेक फॉर युअर व्हील एंड कॉन्फ्रिक्शन येस हियर यू गो गाइज आई कैन सी द व्हील एंड सेवन एंड व्हील एंड एट एंड लुक फॉर युअर ट्रंक पोर्ट शो इंटरफेस ट्रंक येस इंटरफेस ट्रंक एफ एज स्लैश टू इज नाउ माइ ट्रंक पोर्ट now go to the core switch which is our layer 3 switch core switch okay now this switch has a layer 3 capability so first look for a interface show ip interface brief perfect i can see f0/1 f0/2 till 24 and we have a 2 gigabyte port 1 gigabyte port is connected to the router and f0/1 and f0/2 connect to the connected to the your switches access switches b make sure you have to create all four vlans on a core switch for which you would like to create a svi or vlan interface configuration terminal vlan 5 name vlan 5 exit then vlan 6 name vlan Six. You can just copy paste the configuration, right? Then VLAN seven name VLAN seven. Then VLAN eight name VLAN eight. Right? I have without changing a prompt, I have configured the VLAN. Show VLAN. See, you can see VLAN five, six, seven, and eight. Now F A zero slash one. you should configure this port as a trunk or do one thing do not configure uh, do not configure any interface under any vlan and we'll try to create a svi switch virtual interface so before create or before configure the switch virtual interface you must first configure the vlan that we already configured now go and create a sub in, uh, vlan interface command interface vlan 5 here you go then ip address 10.1.5.1255.255.255.0 no shutdown okay and if you want you can have the description but anyway then next interface interface will uh, uh, interface vlan 6 okay ip address simple 10.1. third octet is my 6 remaining submit must is the same no shutdown then exit then next interface vlan 8 command is a interface vlan 8 then ip address 8.1 10.1.8.1 submit pass same no shutdown and now create a svf for vlan 7 interface vlan 7 ip address 10.1.7.1 255.255.255.0 and no shutdown okay go back and look for the now you have a four virtual interfaces vlan interfaces so it must show in in the uh, uh show ip interface brief output show ip interface brief command output here you go you can see vlan 5 vlan 6 vlan 7 and vlan 8 right now go and configure the interface trunk interface fa 0 slash 1 switch port mode trunk and switch port switch port okay so what is happening here the interface whose trunk encapsulation is auto cannot be configured as a 
ट्रंक मोड ओके सो स्विच पोर्ट ट्रंक अलाउ वी लैन फाइव एंड सिक्स ओके कमांड हैज बीन रिजेक्टेड राइट एंड देन मोड ओके नो प्रॉब्लम सो वॉट डज इट मीन राइट इट मीन्स यू आर इनकेप्सुलेशन कॉन्फिगर्ड एज अ ऑटो डॉट वन क्यू और आई एस एल यू हैव टू चेंज द ट्रंकिंग इन कैप्सुलेशन ओके लेट्स गो एंड डू इट सो कमांड इज स्विच पोर्ड ट्रंक इन कैप्सुलेशन डॉट वन क्यू एंड नाउ यू कैन कॉन्फिगर एज अ मोड ट्रंक सी नाउ स्विच हैज एक्सेप्टेड द कमांड ऑटो मीन्स ऑटोमेटिकली इट विल डिस्कवर द इन कैप्शन मेथड विद आई एस एल और डॉट वन क्यू बाय डिफॉल्ट बट एवरी स्विच इज नाउ कम विद डॉट वन क्यू बिकॉज डॉट वन इज अ ओपन स्टैंडर्ड आई एस एल सिस्को प्रोपरेटरी इफ यू हैव ओनली टू सिस्को स्विच देन ओनली यू कैन गो एंड इनेबल द आई एस एल बट नाउ अडे सिस्को ऑल्सो स्टॉप सपोर्ट आई एस एल नो प्रॉब्लम सो लेट्स गो एंड कॉन्फिगर द इंटरफेस एफ ए जीरो स्लैश टू देन फर्स्ट चेन स्विच पोर्ट ट्रंक इन कैप्सुलेशन डॉट वन क्यू एंड देन स्विच पोर्ड मोड ट्रंक स्विच पोर्ड ट्रंक अलाउ वी लैन सेवन एंड एट परफेक्टली फाइन नाउ गो एंड लुक फॉर शो आई पी आई एन टी ब्रीफ यू कैन सी वी लैन फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड एट इंटरफेस आई पी एड्रेस शो वी लैन परफेक्ट सो नाउ वॉट वी विल डू हियर लेट्स एड Let's add one machine. Let's let's connect one machine, right, to the switch one and the switch two, and we can assign them into the particular VLAN. Okay. Now the PC zero connected to the uh, switch one port number ten, and PC one connected to the again port number ten. So let's go and configure this port number ten interface terminal. Interface एफ ए जीरो स्लैश टेन स्विच बोर्ड मोड एक्सेस स्विच बोर्ड एक्सेस विलैन फाइव नो प्रॉब्लम इफ यू सिलेक्ट विलैन फाइव सो यूर मशीन मस्ट बी इन द टेन डॉट वन डॉट फाइव डॉट जीरो स्लैश ट्वेंटी फोर नेटवर्क देन नो शट डाउन ओके सो नाउ गो एंड चेक शो विलैन आउटपुट येस आई कैन सी राइट एफ ए जीरो स्लैश टेन पोर्ट नाउ आई हैव असाइन टू द Interface uh, 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 VLAN uh, five. Let's go and configure the PC. Uh, configure desktop IP configuration static ten dot one dot five dot ten two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. And what is the default gateway? Switch virtual interface IP address of VLAN five. Switch virtual interface IP address of VLAN five. It means this one. VLAN five का क्या है IP address ten dot one dot five dot one. so this will be your default gateway 10.1.5.1 here okay then go to the switch 2 and configure fa0/10 under vlan 8 under vlan 8 uh configuration ter configuration terminal interface fa0/10 switch port mode Access switch port access VLAN eight. As soon as you put this port into the VLAN eight, you must connected. Uh, you must configure the uh, IP address uh, to the connected machine from subnet ten dot one dot eight dot zero slash twenty four network. No shutdown. Exit WR main show VLAN show VLAN. Yes, I can see now port number FA zero slash ten now moved under VLAN eight. Perfectly fine. Go ahead and change the IP address of the uh, uh, or configure the IP address to the endpoint ten dot one dot eight dot ten two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero and gateway ten dot one dot eight dot one which is configured as a SV uh, interface VLAN eight IP address on the core switch. Clear? Now we have a PC one, PC two. So let's do one thing. Before that, let's first ping your gateway address. Let's first ping your gateway address. uh from pc0 command ping hyphen t 10.1.5.1 yes this ip address i have configured on core switch i have configured on the 
core switch so do one thing on the core switch let's first shut down the interface vlan 5 as soon as i shut down the inter vlan 5 automatically you will get the drop okay this is my core switch configuration terminal interface vlan 5 and just put a shutdown as soon as i enter the, the shutdown my interface vlan 5 go down means i am not able to reach my gateway see correct i have not shut down the physical interface guys i have not shut down the physical interface fh 0 slash 1 trunk interface which is still up but i have shut down the svi switch virtual interface perfect as soon as you click on the no shutdown uh, or execute the command no shutdown i will get ping response from my gateway it will definitely it will wait yes now i am able to ping now do one thing from vlan 5 right from vlan 5 pc0 try to ping pc1 which is belongs to the vlan 8 so inter vlan communication will be happen through core switch core switch ping 10.1.8.10 which is my pc1 ip address 10.1.8.10 it will it will because why the r process is happening in between okay no it will not why i will tell you right one command i miss sorry uh, uh, right uh, as per my checklist see basically by default your core switch will not enable the routing even though you have a interfaces you have a interfaces configure on this but if you run the command show ip route you not you are not able to see any routing table but you can create multiple svi on your switch but by default inter uh, uh, vlan routing or routing is not enable enable on the any multi layer switch you have to go and enable the command ip routing configuration terminal then ip routing uh, command is ip so the command is ip routing as soon as you hit enter ip routing so what will happen your switch is now maintaining the ip route table show ip route here you go i can see the vlan 5 inter vlan 5 inter vlan 6 7 and 8 is the directly connected it is not showing uh, 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 to any physical interface it is showing to the vlan interface it is showing to the vlan interface clear okay so let's go and try to ping now vlan 8 ip address 10.1.8.10 still i am not able to ping how wait for two minutes yes now i am able to ping previously we were not able to ping why because ip routing is not enabled on the code switch first you have to enable the ip routing anyway you can first create a vlan it is not compulsion to enable in the first stage without enabling the ip routing command you can uh, uh, configure the uh, SVIs interface VLAN. You can add VLANs on a trunk port. You can configure the access port. But when it's come to the routing, you have to go and enable the routing between the uh, uh, two VLANs. And how you will enable the routing between the two VLANs on a layer 3 switch by enabling the or by executing a IP routing command on a global configuration mode next thing now i would like to configure router the uh, router and the link between the router i can say not only router i want to configure the link between the router and the core switch so currently router interface shut down that is it is showing red so do one thing i don't want to configure the vlan or i don't want any more vlan between the uh, router and the switch communication Let's go and configure this gigabyte 0 slash 1, which is a switch port as a L3 port. Go and configure configuration terminal interface gigabyte 0 slash 1. Now, now if you execute this command, show interface switch port gigabyte, or I can say show interface switch port. So you can see or command show interface gigabyte 0 slash 1 switch port so see this currently gigabyte 0 slash 1 connected to router is my purely switch port right switch port is enabled right i can support trunking so it's a purely switch port no i don't want i want this port to be a kind of router port so what you will do here configuration terminal 
इंटरफेस गेगा बाइट जीरो स्लैश वन गो एंड चेंज द इंटरफेस मोड फ्रॉम एल टू टू एल थ्री सो कमांड इज नो स्विच पोर्ट एज सुन एज यू हिट और एक्सिक्यूट द कमांड नो स्विच पोर्ट यू विल सी दिस गेगा बाइट जीरो स्लैश वन पोर्ट इज नाउ यूअर राउटेड पोर्ट सो रन सेम कमांड शो इंटरफेस गेगा जीरो स्लैश वन स्विच पोर्ट सी स्विच पोर्ट इज डिसेबल्ड वाय प्रीवियसली इट वॉज इनेबल सेम कमांड शो इंटरफेस gigabyte zero slash one switch port so you can see this output but now as soon as you convert this port from l2 to l3 you can see switch port is disabled on port number gigabyte zero slash one now go and directly configure the ip address on the interface like router gigabyte zero slash one ip address 10.10.10.1255.255.255.252 and no shutdown perfect and now look at the show ip int brief command output oh here you go now you can see the ip address directly configured on the physical interface but it is showing status down down why because router port gigabyte zero slash but is still down so let's go on the router on the router cli prompt enable and configure the ip address now my ip address is 10.10.10.1 Right means core switch gigabyte zero slash one IP address is ten dot ten dot one. So this router must have IP address ten dot ten dot ten dot two because subnet must is slash thirty. Okay, so go to the interface gigabyte zero slash zero. No shutdown. Enter. See now the link is green. As soon as I execute a command, no shutdown. Now my both interface is now come up. Then you can configure the IP address ten dot ten dot ten dot two two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two fifty two. Perfect. And then W R show IP int brief. Yes, here you go. You can see the IP address configure on a interface gear zero zero slash zero is ten dot ten dot ten dot two. Can you go and ping ten dot ten dot ten dot one, which is configured on the S uh, uh, L three switch? Here you go. Yes, I can able to ping ten dot ten dot ten dot one. Clear. Now can you try to ping these VLANs IP address ten dot seven dot, or ten dot one dot seven dot zero, ten dot one dot eight dot zero. You have a four SVI, right? You have a four SVI, right? Five, six, seven, and eight VLAN. So ten dot one dot one dot five dot one. Let's go and try to ping from the router. Where is my router? On the router, try to ping VLAN five SVI ten dot one dot five dot one. Perfect. Now, why I am not able to ping this IP address on the router because the destination IP address and my interface IP address doesn't belong to the same subnet. If If router doesn't have a route to reach destination, router will drop the packet. Router will drop the packet. So what we have to do here? You have to add a static route. You have to add static route for network VLANs five, six, seven, and eight towards the core switch. And the next stop address is interface gigabyte zero slash one IP address, which is ten dot ten dot ten dot one. Clear. perfect so do one thing on the router see guys look at the routing table show ip route this router has only one route which is directly connected 10.10.10/30 now you are trying to ping 10.1.5.1 ip address which is not in the routing which is the, this destination is not matching in the my routing table so i have to have required a route right so where is this so This network five, six, seven, and eight VLANs is behind the core switch, and there is a communication VLAN or communication segment between the router and switch, which is ten dot ten dot ten dot ten dot ten dot zero slash thirty network. My IP address is router IP address is zero slash zero is a ten dot two, and gigabyte zero slash one is a ten dot two. So to reach five, six, seven, and eight VLAN, my next stop will be the core switch IP address, right? So add route. Add a route, configuration terminal, IP route ten dot one dot five dot zero. 
255.255.255.0 next stop 10.10.10.2 which is a core switch interface gigabyte zero slash one ip address now hit enter invalid next stop address something is wrong 10.10.10.2 oh okay my bad my bad my self ip address is 2 right so next stop address is a 1 okay so now check show ip route you can see now the static route in your router table to reach vlan 5 now ping 10.1.5.1 which is the sp ip address vlan 5 on the port switch now i am able to ping try to ping 6 no i am not able to ping the 6 ip address why because i do not have the routes in my local routing table clear so now go add a static route for vlan 6 vlan 7 vlan 8 okay configuration terminal Six just change the second octet, then seven because every VLAN interface has the same subnet and eight. Okay, now WR mem and now try to ping interface VLAN six IP address six dot one. Yes, then seven dot one. Yes, I can, and now you can ping eight dot one. Perfect. So now you can able to reach right you can able to reach the all the pieces belongs to the vlan 5 6 and 7 and 8 from this router right now consider if this server or these endpoints would like to reach this server which is in a different subnet right uh, let me show you A view toolbar secondary nodes this is my 192.168.10.0 slash 24 network okay so now if your source is your pc 0 and destination is 192.10.0 so what will happen first your request will come on the multi-layer switch why because your multi-layer switch is your gateway is your gateway then multi-layer switch will look for a 192.10.0 route but do we have route to reach destination network show ip route this is my core switch no i do have only route for vlan 5 6 7 and 8 and gigabyte zero slash 1 so means i have only routing table for connected interface i do not have a routes to reach 192.10.0 slash multiple network so what you will do here you will add a static route in the core switch towards the router and what is your router ip address of gigabyte zero slash one which is connected to the core switch 10.10.10.2 add configuration terminal or do one thing if internet is there right connected to the router better way add a default route means match everything so ip route okay ip route 0.0.0.0 0.0.0.0 and next stop 10.10.10.2 which is the core switch which is the core switch which is the router interface ip address done so show ip route here you go now you can see the static route static default route pointing towards the your router perfect so this is how you can reach your uh, subnet within uh, between the vlans and you can access the excel network through default route through your router Okay, let's try. This is a complementary lab. Uh, I have uh, built right for fresher. Freshers can take advantage and emulate this lab into their environment. Thank you so much. Subscribe this channel and enable your notification. Thank you. Bye bye.